a new AI PC might be released very soon. MSI or MicroStar International is a well-known Taiwanese multinational information technology corporation that produces a wide range of computer hardware and electronics. They are going to release a new PC, the Edge Expert MSC 931, built on NVIDIA's DGX Spark platform, which is set to be showcased at the upcoming Computex conference in Taiwan. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This Computex 2025 is turning out to be already a massive success because everyone is anticipating the release of various pieces all oriented towards AI. The event is a leading global exhibition focused on AI OT and startups and it's fitting that MSI is launching their AI oriented PC here. In this video, I am going to give you a brief overview of this PC and what exactly this means for local AI inference. Whenever I make a video on a local AI model or whenever we install something related to AI, whether it's a tool or server or model, one of the questions is how can this be run on a desktop? Look. Still, I don't think so it is possible for most of the models to be running on our local system and that is why I believe that releases like these could be a game changer, maybe not immediately but down the road and this new Edge Expert MSC 931 seems to be a good step in that direction. It's a compact PC that packs a punch. If you look at its specs, they are quite interesting. It features NVIDIA's GB10 super chip. This powerful processor is designed specifically for AI workloads and boasts some of the impressive specs out there. With 6144 CUDA cores, this GPU is capable of handling demanding AI tasks with ease. To put that in perspective, the CUDA cores are the heart of NVIDIA's GPU architecture allowing for massive parallel processing and making it ideal for tasks like deep learning and neural networks. The 6144 CUDA cores in the Edge Expert MS C931 will enable developers to train and run complex AI models quickly and efficiently, it seems so, maybe most of them. In addition to the CUDA cores, as you can see that it also features 128 GPU of LPDDR5X memory. This is a significant amount of memory, especially considering its coherent memory that's shared between the CPU and GPU. This allows for seamless data transfer and processing, making it perfect for AI workloads that require massive amount of data to be processed quickly. The LPDDR5X memory also provides a high-speed interface that further enhances the system performance and I believe that already NVIDIA has marked their place with this new chip. This GB10 super chip is based on the Grace Blackwell architecture which combines the CPU and GPU in single housing using NVLink C2C technology. This allows for faster data transfer and processing making it ideal for AI tasks. The GPU itself also features 5th generation tensor cores and 4th generation RT cores that also further enhances its performance. Now if you look at the specs of the system again, it is pretty evident that MSI is trying to position this as a personal AI supercomputer, targeting mainly AI researchers and developers who need powerful performance for prototyping, fine-tuning, and running large AI models. With up to 1000 tops um, for FP4 for AI tasks, this device is certainly capable of handling demanding workload, it seems. But the cooling system might struggle with the peak power consumption of up to 224 watt, and this is especially for the household. What's notable here is that the MSI is not the only company to release a version of NVIDIA's DGX Spark. ASUS, Dell and Lenovo have already um, made public that they are also going to launch their own 
similar sort of version and even hp is also joining the fray with their hp zgx nano a station and i'm still awaiting the specs for that this increased competition could lead to more competitive pricing for consumer and that is one of my biggest worry because whenever we have this name of nvidia the price tag simply goes up and that is a harsh reality of uh, the land at the moment so this is all and well that you know consumers are going to get a new ai pc but what is the price because the specs are really really good so i'm a bit worried about the price and i really don't know there are some rumors in social media but i really don't want to say anything on the price unless we have some verified idea so in my opinion the release of these ai oriented pcs from various manufacturers is an exciting development as more companies enter the market we can expect to see increased competition and potentially lower prices for consumers the ability to run ai models locally can be a game changer for developers and researchers who need powerful performance without relying on cloud infrastructure with the growing demand for ai capabilities it's likely that we'll see more innovative solutions emerge in the coming months and that is very exciting in my opinion i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation so that's it let me know uh, what do you think about this new ai pc and also i want to mention that if you are interested in these uh, sort of things where you want to know what is happening what is coming in terms of ai especially ai hardware i think this computex is quite a, a good conference to keep your tabs on if you can't attend personally um just keep an eye on their page just check out their social media i think they are doing some wonderful work there and it is not far away it is may 20 and by the way this video is not at all being sponsored by them they don't even know about this so if you look uh, you know a lot of good things are there i am just going to take you to its keynote and forum so a lot of big names are there as you can see so <clears throat> they also have a forum where you can check out and then there is a other stuff happening so in my opinion i think uh, at least i'm expecting four to five such ai related pieces to be released during this conference so let's see what happens that's it let me know your thoughts on this please if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching